Guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we have another update. And for me, I, I'm thinking it's going to be the last. I mean, how many more updates can come from this situation? But according to Tom Pelissero of the NFL Network, and by the way, shout out to uh, my buddy Boy Green for sharing the video clip on Twitter. Uh, the New York Jets and the Green Bay Packers have essentially both greenlighted the trade. The Jets know what they want to do with the contract situation, how they're going to work it, how they're going to move money around. They also have agreed on trade compensation. In other words, the last remaining question is what Aaron, Ro what Aaron Rodgers wants to do with his future. Retirement, stick with Green Bay, join the New York Jets. It's up to him now. And uh, again, of course, it, this, this has always been the underlying uh, theme of this entire thing because, you know, we can go through all the different scenarios, but I mean, we've talked so, so much about it. This is the last question. It's, it's came down to this. What does Aaron Rodgers want? And it's nerve wracking. It's exciting. Um, I know I could speak for, you know, a lot of Jets fans here. I'm anxious as hell, right? I, I'm, I'm nearly pulling out my hair, like freaking out, like what is going on here? I mean, this isn't just some random quarterback, it's just some random acquisition. Uh, this is Aaron Rodgers we're talking about here. So much rides on this. Derek Carr is now off the market. It really feels like the Jets are doing absolutely everything possible to make Florham Park and the New York Jets Aaron Rodgers home. It really seems like, you know, they're, I, I mean, I'm going, I was reading a couple of, um, you know, replies to some of these uh, tweets and everybody's calling the Jets desperate and whatnot. Like, oh my God, we got the, probably got, we got like half the team tweeting to Aaron Rodgers. We got the owner flying out. We have all these different things. And I get that it looks desperate, but you know what? The Jets to me feel desperate. This feels like the Jets are desperate for Aaron Rodgers. So we're going to see how this whole thing plays out. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. We don't have like a hard deadline, of course. I think it would be best for, you know, the Jets, the Packers, and Aaron Rodgers to wrap this thing up before the start of free agency. That way, you know, it makes total sense for the Jets and the Packers, obviously. But in regards to Aaron Rodgers, of course, it's a big decision. But at the end of the day, he is going to be joining a new team. So ideally, you don't want to put your new team in a bit of a corner, right? In between a rock and a hard place as far as waiting, still not knowing what's going on with the contract situation, while at the same time trying to negotiate with other free agents and the Jets are already pressed up against the cap as it is. Granted, they can move money around with restructures. They can go out and release more players. Maybe they're going to trade a player to the Green Bay Packers that is, you know, a, a substantial cap hit. Who knows? All I'm saying is I, I, I really think that news probably has got to be coming soon. Um, I don't foresee this dragging on for another week i mean i guess i could be wrong again let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section it's just that one last push that one last hurdle there's so many question marks surrounding aaron Rodgers, surrounding this entire dilemma situation whatever term you want to call this um so many question marks we're down to one more one more i can't wait to see how it plays out let me know your thoughts and as always go jets